don't know who this story is for, but I'm about to share it, okay? And who, if it's not for you, then you just heard a good story. That's all. So I met a lady back in 2011 or 2012, and we became good friends. And we became good friends because, honestly, she started talking to me. And I was trying to go about my day, but for whatever reason, this lady didn't know me from a can of paint, exchanged numbers with me, and we just became really close. Now, when I met her, she was a single parent, just as I was, and she was not living the way she probably wanted to live, but she was doing the best she could as a single parent. She had worked a job where it was like paycheck to paycheck, and, and regardless of her financial situation, I mean, she always kept a positive attitude, always continued to motivate other people, and overall, she was a very just supportive person. She would bring such a light in a room. She knew how to turn something from just chaos to just something that was free-spirited. And, and just, it, she was just a whole vibe, let me say that. And over time, you know, despite the fact that she was going through her own trials and tribulations, she continued to keep a positive attitude. She decided that, you know, she needed a change of pace from where she lived at and she decided to just pick up and go she didn't know what job she was going to do she didn't know who she was going to meet she didn't she didn't know what was going to happen but she knew that she needed to change her environment and she wasn't afraid to do it with just going with the clothes that she had and leaving everything else behind now when she relocated she ended up relocating you know to to the west and when she relocated to the West, she really didn't have a pot to piss in or wanted to throw it out of. She was staying with a friend. Things didn't work out. And she pretty much had to just figure things out. She ended up meeting someone who came into her life who helped her, you know, get on her feet, pay her bills. And she ultimately ended up finding a, another place of employment. And the job that she had, it wasn't a job that she probably wanted, but, you know, she did what she had to do. And while she was working this job, she just was meeting people in this new place. She was giving to children who were homeless, regardless of the fact that, you know, she still, she got on her feet, but she still wasn't in a financially stable place. But no matter what, she decided, like, I want to make sure that these kids that are homeless within this state that I live in is getting what they need. You know what I'm saying? And she would collaborate with different people, you know, of this organization. I don't know what the name of it is, but she collaborated with people in the organization. She would drop things off. She would form relationships with the kids. And overall, she was just a great natured person. I never seen someone who would be going through so much turmoil in their life through relationships, parenting, financial struggles, and just always kept her head held high. This girl could be going through the worst. When I say the worst, she could be just down in the dumps. But if somebody else was feeling some type of way and was in a dark place, she came out of herself. She put herself behind and she did whatever she needed to do to pour into that person because she valued people. And I absolutely love that about this woman. Needless to say, once she got on her feet, she ended up getting a house. You know, she got a house that, I mean, she has a, a beautiful home. So she had ended up um, getting herself a nice home. And ultimately, she just became financially stable and decided to work on having a nonprofit that would help, you know, parents who have suffered the loss of children and parent and um, children who was experiencing, you know, the lack of having them home. One of the other things that stuck with me about this lady was that when I decided to start my business, I had a habit of pretty much <laughs> I would I would make things as they were ordered. Let me say that. And one of the things that she told me was just make it. Just make it. Like don't wait for people to order. Like just make it. Just wear it. Just put it out there. Just do it. And and whoever it's for, it will come. And she's always been a big supporter of my business. And when I 
tell you I needed that and it has helped me as a business owner it has helped me as a creator I want to just take the time out to tell you whether you're an entrepreneur or not if it if you feel like it is time for you to move forward get out of your environment move to another state hell even move to another country don't let fear stop you don't let how i'm gonna do what's gonna happen when i get there don't let none of that stuff stop you oftentimes we ignore our intuition not realizing like our intuition is a navigator for us don't ignore it with your business if you want to do the business do the business don't let other people's thoughts and what they have to say stop you from creating your business and being the best version of yourself. If you want to travel, go. Go travel. If you want to do a cruise, get on a damn cruise. I've seen people who do not have money like that and who do not have a pot to piss in or when to throw it out of. They are living their best life. So why aren't you? And one of the things my mentor has said to me time and time again is, if not you, then who? If not you, then who? So, I don't know who this is for. But I'm going to leave here and tell you this. Go do it. Just make it. Buy that damn dress. Buy your girl over here. Buy my products. If you want to try something natural and treat your skin better. Cause you need it in your life and it's affordable i ain't know i ain't know how price check but it's affordable and it's all natural and it's made with love so if you don't know about my etsy shop go into the bio you'll see the etsy shop check that thing out i don't play no games but create it buy it do it this is not a time to just worry about fear and, and any of those things thoughts become things ideas become things don't ignore the way that you feel to make anybody else feel comfortable or because you are afraid fear will turn you into the best version of yourself it will turn you into the best version of yourself if you never do it you'll die never knowing what you could have been or what it could have been so go be the best version of yourself and live your best mother freaking life love you bye